There's buildup in this. There's actual buildup. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 8 of Supernatural Season 15, and oh my god, we have buildup. Directed once again by Richard Spite Jr., otherwise known as the Trickster, or Gabriel. This actually is a decently put together episode. I'm being 100% serious. There's actually some well put together shit put in this episode. My god, there is some dumb stuff too, but this is a great buildup to which I thought was the mid-season finale, but I'm assuming the next one is going to be the mid-season finale. This episode has the brothers trying to find Michael. They go down to hell and they see that Rowena is the queen of hell, which actually makes a lot of sense. We find out the very, very obvious thing that Michael escaped. And what is actually very well done is we see what has happened to Adam and Michael after the 10 years of them being in hell. Instead of going crazy, they just made a pact to help each other survive. And they're more so for each other where, rather than Michael's obedience to God. There's a great conversation at this diner where Adam is having a conversation with Michael. And I loved how they did this. They used this twice in the episode and the means of him talking with himself but not himself actually does a great means of building these two characters. And it's so far done a fuck done better than it was with alternate universe Michael, which was a horribly written aspect of this show. But there is some stupid stuff in this episode. Mainly there's this random woman character who's talking to Eileen, which I'm sorry, but I don't remember this woman at all. And I also find it odd how this woman's like, hey Eileen, you've been dead for three years, but for some reason, I totally can find you on social media and I know your cell phone number of a woman who's been dead for three years. This is a really badly put together part of the episode and the twist that happens with it, it's kind of like uh, maybe grown, but at least it again is a cliffhanger. There's some building here, God forbid. They also brought down a bag because they're trying to think of a way to use a demon tablet to shut God away, which I guess isn't the worst idea. They're just rehashing season 10 or no wait, season eight if I'm correct. Then God is obviously able to take control of Donatello because He's a prophet of the Lord, duh. and then he gives him a warning, but again, Donatello is just kind of there. Like, I, I keep thinking this guy's dead, but he keeps coming back. I did enjoy this episode, though, with the conversations with Adam slash Michael. I liked it. I liked how Cass convinced him how God has just been an asshole. I, again, I'm not on this whole God's been controlling everything, he's been writing everything train, but my God, are they trying. They're really trying to make this absolutely insanely stupid twist makes sense to this season i'll give them credit for that because they're doing their best the editing for this part was actually really well done and again i liked how this episode worked i liked a lot of aspects of it i like how they're doing decent actual physical storytelling in this i like the conversations that are being had yes there's some stupid stuff the part where they have michael in the ring of fire to keep him locked in and then sam and dean both come through the curtains at the same time i was laughing my ass off that shit was corny but then for a guy who's got those angel cuffs on, which supposedly should limit his power to almost nothing, he's able to open up a door to purgatory. I'm sorry, but that's not a limiting of power. That's a pretty good ability to still have with the cuffs on. This is also how they're probably going to be bringing Benny back because I made the mistake of looking him up when I was reviewing the Bloodlust episode and I see that he's in this season because of course he is. Either way, that's not a bad episode. I like how it's a cliffhanger into the guess which is going to be the actual mid-season finale next week i do like how they built this up yes there's some stupid stuff but this is actually a well-written story episode a story episode give credit where credit's due i'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. Oh my god now i just can't wait for andrew dab to completely screw it up with the mid-season finale anyways guys i hope you liked this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.